I am sorry. Oh, may I introduce my fiance, Hubert Tyler? Uh, I'm afraid I didn't catch your name. Nikki Prox. Prox. Baron Nicholas Prox. Nikki, with an I. How do you do? How do you do? Really, Victoria. Oh, Vicky, perhaps you can explain. I can't. I'm really. I don't know what happened. I, I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. What happened to us? We fell in love. We don't know each other. We only met an hour ago. Does that matter in the least? No, not in the very least. And you stand here kissing somebody who was brought by somebody else who wasn't invited either. It's no use. We've fallen in love. Come, Victoria. I must ask you to leave this house at once and never speak to my fiancé again under any circumstances. But it's not as simple as that, Hubert. Why, something has happened. Something beyond comprehension. This is utterly different. It's rivers flowing uphill. It's rain leaping from the earth to the clouds. It's frightening. It's, it's unbelievable. It's beautiful. Victoria. Vicky. A thousand years. Forever. We were dancing in a... And a sort of an enchantment came over me. My heart is still thumping. I'm, I'm trembling. I, oh, I'm trying so hard to be calm, to explain to you reasonably, but I don't dare look at him. If I did, my eyes would brim over with tears, and I'd, I'd cry like a baby. Darling. He hasn't a penny. Not a penny. I don't care. He fled from Vienna three years ago, and everything he had was confiscated. Estates, holdings, bank balance. He's given me a list of his present sources of income. Do you want to hear them? No. By all means. Bridge, backgammon. Golf at $100 a hole. Croquet at $20 a wicket. You mean he is a professional gambler? He describes himself as a professional guest. He's a parasite, an extra man, a wheeler of invitations. He lives by his wits, his charm, his attraction for women. Hmm. Well, it's even worse than I thought, Vicky. I think I'll go and have a talk with that young man. Does it feel comfortable? Yes, but it looks as though it's been a hurry and couldn't stay long. <laughs> yes, bank, there's a wall to show me. All right. I still say the rod should be brought back with it almost horizontally. They've forgotten us. Yes. Yeah. What should we do? We should run away. Why not? We should be married tonight. Yes, tonight. They told you about me? Everything. But I'm just a tramp in a white tie. Uh -huh. A moth that nests in the wardrobes of the rich. It's all true. <laughs> I don't care. All I can offer you is half a guest room. Sounds awfully cozy. We could take a plane to New York. I have a tiny apartment there, just two rooms. One too many. I drove through your father's estate in Poland once, for miles in the house, hundreds of bedrooms. But all that is lost. You can have it again. All I want is half a guest room. My darling, my wonderful... Oh, I think we're insane. We're utter strangers and we talk of marriage. It's, it's fantastic. It's preposterous. Oh, it was just a moment of madness. Because we're aliens of a strange world. Because the orchestra played a waltz that was filled with memories. Because the moon was high. That's the truth, isn't it? That's the truth. That's the truth. Oh, Mickey, let's be sensible. Let's say goodbye and part quickly. Kiss me just once and go. Go marry a rich widow. Go quickly. Quickly. Go. Yeah.